At first, I wanted to put the title as Day Number One, restarting my blog again, wanting to start fresh. A new day, a new me. Every day is our birthday, so happy birthday to me and to you. I know, we can just choose to be a different person when we wake up every day. It's just the momentum that keeps us being the same person, experiencing the same reality. But if I put day number one, I feel like I disregard and I'm not appreciating all the days that I had lived. The good days and even the bad ones that launched rockets of desires into my vortex. The ones I can still remember and the ones I can't. Sometimes I wonder, have I lived this life before and came back at a certain point to relive it as I still have not learned something? I read in one of Neville Goddard's book that if we don't revise our lives now, even when we die, we will come back to the same life. And my favorite shows on Netflix, Lucifer, describes hell as the place where you relive the events that hurts you, like guilt, over and over for all eternity. Looking at this, we don't need to die to go to hell. Most of us keep relieving the guilt, grief, and mistakes we made 20 years ago. We create our own hell here, although we can create heaven if we want to. A few days ago, maybe on day number 17,355, I believe I discovered why I haven't manifested the big things that I want. Reason number one, I didn't realize I was still questioning myself. What else I did not do? I meditate, I focus on good things, but why I still not manifesting the big things? This means I'm still aware of my what is, what I still don't have. Reason number two, and this is the main reason, I didn't realize that I want to feel good so that I manifest what I want. I do something that make me feel good, like singing and just chilling, because I want to manifest something that I still do not have, like financial freedom or dog sanctuary. I haven't reached a point where I want to feel good because it feels good, period. Not because it's going to bring me money or prevent my dogs from getting sick. Just feel good because I deserve to feel good. While it feels good for me to share what I learned and experienced in life, I have a lot of friction talking about it. Sometimes I wonder, why do I have this strong urge to be an inspirational speaker if I don't like to talk? When I asked my aunt what she remembers me the most when I was a child, she said I was very quiet. I would have one pacifier in my mouth and another I used to rub my nose, just quietly observing others. I also remember my late grandmother said to me, after she saw me talking to my friends. So, you talk? So I guess that's me, not a talker. But I'm still looking forward to discover if one day I would be an inspirational speaker talking on stage. Or maybe just someone who read a few pages of their best-selling books for their fans. For now, for day number 17,359, I'm just going to write and read my blog post for you. And that is good enough.